welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel where it's time to do a potential signing. Now, I haven't done one of these in a wee while, but I thought I would obviously do one. Uh, there's been a bit of talk in the press recently that Celtic defender Christopher Ayer has been linked with a move to the English Premier League and one of those clubs mentioned is Liverpool. Now, Christopher Ayer was born on the 17th of April 1998, born in Raelagan, Norway, so he's a Norwegian centre-back, he can play defensive midfielder as well, his height is 1.98 metres, so that's 6 foot 6, now everyone knows that I'm 6 foot 5, so he is, he is, um, he is taller than me, um, so youth career, he was in Raelagan 2009, um, and then he went to Leo Strom, where he was there from 2010 to 2014. And then his senior career, he has been at start in Nor the Norwegian League, um, which 2014 to 2016, where he made 61 appearances, 14 goals. 14 goals, that's not bad for a, uh, a centre-back. Um, and then he made the move to Celtic um, in 2016, uh, Celtic paid start £650,000 um, and he's been an ever-present mainstay in the Celtic defence. Um, but he did move briefly on loan to Kilmarnock in the 2016-2017 season in January where he made 17 appearances and zero goals. Came back to Celtic and he's been a mainstay in that Celtic team. He has been, he's made 131 appearances Five goals, which is not, not too bad as well. His 2019-2020 stats, appearances 47, goals 4, 2 assists, 3 yellow cards, no red cards, which is very, very good as well. Uh, let's move on to his national career. So, 2014, he was in the under-16 Norway squad. Uh, appearances 12, goals 1. And then, he, then, 2015, he was in the under-17s and in the under-18s as well, uh, making 12 appearances and 7 goals, and then 2016 under-19s, he was uh, 6 assists and 3 goals, 2017-2018, he was in the under-21s, 5 appearances, 0 goals, and since 2018, he's been in the senior Norway squad, where he's made 14 appearances and 0 goals, not bad for a player who's only 22, so that is one thing you can say for sure. His honours for Celtic, I mean, Celtic have been uh, dominant in the Scottish Premiership, they've been dominant in the Scottish um, Cup, two Cups as well. So his honours, Scottish Premiership 2017-2018, 2018-2019, 2019-2020, Scottish Cup 2017-2018, 2018-2019, Scottish League Cup 2017-2018, 2018-2019, 2019-2020. And he was in the ind individual PFA Scotland Team of the Year 2018-2019 for the Scottish Premiership. Now, this is where it might get a little bit tricky. His contract runs out on the 30th of June 2022 and his price is between 10 to 20 million. Now, for someone who's obviously watched Scottish football a lot, I really like Ayer. He is a very, very good centre-back. Loves to bomb forward. Um, he can play right back. He can play across all the you know the centre back positions. Um, don't think I think he's I think he may have played left back as well, possibly as well. Um, but obviously Liverpool don't really need right backs, um, but they do need a centre back. I think Klopp has been in the market to try and get one the, to replace Dejan Lovren. I think that's one thing you can say for sure. Uh, he loves to bomb forward, as I've said. Um, very good, composed, calm defender. Um, a danger from set pieces as well. Um, I think this is a very, very good player. I think, obviously, with the, the talk is that, um, you know, a number of Premier League clubs are, are linked with him. Um, also, the fact is, I need to say this as well, that um, he's only he's 22, so it would be a very good Klopp signing. He likes to sign youngsters as well at the back. So I think, I think it's going to be very, very interesting... Uh, to see where he moves, because obviously West Brom, Southampton, I think Aston Villa, Leeds, I think we're another one, and Liverpool are all the uh, teams mentioned as well. So, Christopher Iyer, folks, would you like him at Liverpool? I mean, I have to say, obviously, um, we obviously have seen in the past that 
Obviously, players uh, that go to Celtic always seem to uh, do well. Obviously, we've seen Victor Wanyama go to Southampton and then on to Tottenham, of course. Virgil van Dijk, of course, going to, uh, obviously, Celtic to Southampton and then, obviously, Southampton to Liverpool. So, um, And, obviously, he'd be a very good... Um, he'd be very, very good. May have to wait his turn to get in the, the first team because, obviously, you know, Joe Gomez is there. And obviously, uh, you know, obviously Matip is there as well. So, Jurgen Klopp obviously wants a, a Dejan Lovren replacement. I think this would be a very, very good sign. And I think it's he's, he's young, he's quick, he is very good in the air as well. Um, and he's he is, he is very, very quick as well. So, Christopher Iyer, I think this would be a very, very good signing. The only thing I'll say, though, is, as I've said, he might have to bide his time to obviously play. And also the fact is that, um, you know, his price tag is between 10 and £20 million. Pounds. Now, as we said, that Celtic would do very, very well to get £20 million. Um, Going to be very, very interesting to see how, how well he does, uh, I think, for Celtic. Because um, I think there's, there's, no, there's no secret that he does want to leave. Um, and it'll be very, very interesting indeed. So, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts about Christopher Iyer. Uh, in the comment section down below. Do you think he'd be a very good signing for Liverpool? Do you think he'd be a very good Klopp signing? And do you think he could potentially um, be that Lovren replacement? May have to wait his turn to get into to, into the team. But he's very, very solid. A very quick centre-back. And obviously from watching him uh, for Celtic against Livingston, he is very, very good as well. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, we shall see what happens. But if you are new around here, then please hit that subscribe button, smash the like on this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.